Today on The Grotto, we're looking at how to get the most out of your Citadel colour paints. Let's start with the elephant in the room. Lots of people like to use dropper bottles or transfer their Citadel paints to these kinds of bottles, and that's fine if it works for you. But if you don't want to do that, it's good to know about some of the issues with paint pots. Paint can run down and build up around the edge here, weakening the seal, so it's important to be aware of that and keep your paints closed as much as possible. Penning out of the pot is a surefire way to get that gunk buildup, among other things, which is why you should always use a palette. Now there are lots of options for a palette, so you need to find out what works for you, but I highly recommend a wet palette of some description. Citadel paint is often on the thicker side due to the issues with the lid seal, so a wet palette also works great in making sure your paints are suitably thinned down. I always recommend adding mixing balls to paint. I put these in from the moment I get a brand new paint and it's just going to keep your product in a good state and also be invaluable when we need to add other things to the paint to bring it back to life. You just want to make sure that you get something that isn't going to rust, so make sure you check on that. When I discover a paint on the thick side, I add two things in equal parts. The first is thinner medium, any brand is fine, as long as it's for acrylic paint. The second thing is good old fashioned water. Well, not exactly old fashioned, but regular tap water can be used in a pinch. This here is distilled water, which uh, I read somewhere was the best water to use with paint, so that's good enough for me. This stuff is super cheap from the grocery store, so I just use it for peace of mind. When adding these two mediums to dried out paint, I always add it in equal parts and start with just a couple of drops so it doesn't go overboard. Citadel paint has a strong pigment so it can take some watering down, but you don't want to go too far with this and ruin your paint. Then you're ready to go. Monitor how the paint performs on your palette and add more thinners if necessary. This is something you always want to be monitoring over time, particularly if the pot has some buildup you can't remove, or if it's a very regularly used paint. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe for more hobby tips, and we'll see you next time on the Hobby Grotto.